God bless you. I am Apostle Barry Glover. Uh, welcome you to the Space Study. Let us pray, Father, we come to you today in the spirit of Jesus Christ. We enter your gates with thanksgiving. We thank you for all your goodness, mercy, kindness, forgiveness, health, strength, prosperity, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We come to your course with praise, Lord. You're a mighty God, awesome God, astounding God. You're wonderful. We love you. Lord, we uh, lift up the name of Jesus, the only name given whereby men must be saved, the name of Jesus. Thank you for saving, healing, delivering, prospering your people today. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the presentation of the word today, Lord. Thank you for a revelation from the word today, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. The message is the God of the now. The God of the now is the message. God is the God of now. Since God has already finished the works, then the harvest that you want is in place for you now. Let me make that statement again. Since God has already finished the works, then the harvest that you want is in place for you now. Yes, God has already finished the works. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. It says in Hebrews chapter 4, turn to Hebrews chapter 4. You know, some people waiting on God to perform certain acts when God is waiting on them to make contacts with, make contact rather with the acts that he's already performed by faith so that they will see those acts in their life. Um, uh, some people waiting on God to move, but God waiting on them to move by faith because God has already finished all of his works from the foundation of the world. It says in Hebrews chapter 4, praise be to God, hallelujah. It says in verse 3, it says, uh, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, God has already finished the works from the foundation of the world. That's how we can enter into faith. We know what God has done already. We say, uh, we accept that as true. And then we say what is done, and then what is done appears done in the physical world. You know, now faith is not, you know, somebody said, well, I believe God will do it next month. No, that's not faith. Faith is now. Now faith is. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is. Faith is always in the present tense. Hallelujah. If you're in faith, then you're in the present tense of what God has already done. You said it's done now. Praise be to God. And this moment I'm speaking to you is right now is now. But the next moment as I'm speaking to you will be now. Every moment will be defined as now. When you come into tomorrow, tomorrow will be called now. Hallelujah. That time will be now. Now faith is. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. The next 10 seconds from now will be called now. Hallelujah. Right now it's not called now. It's called the future. Because we're waiting on the next 10 seconds. But when they arrive, that would be called now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. When tomorrow has arrived, it won't be called tomorrow. It will be called today. Now faith is. Since God has already finished the works, then the harvest that you want is in place for you now. Revelation chapter 13 verse 8 says in part, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. You see, Jesus was slain from the foundation of the world even before you were sent here. Hallelujah. Jesus had already died for the sins of the world. Then God sent him here and uh, uh, he uh, uh, was born of a virgin. He, he, the, the word became flesh, uh, the Holy Ghost placed Jesus inside of a human body. Then Jesus went to the cross to be slain, but he was slain before he was slain. He was slain from the foundation of the world. The, work were, God is, the, work were, the works were finished from the foundation of the world. God has completed the works. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 3 says, Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, Isaiah 46, 10. Let's read Isaiah 46, 10. 10. God is a great God. The way we uh, know what we shall uh, see by the hand of God is that God has revealed to us what we shall see. 
in order to, to know what to uh, expect from God, we look at the Word of God to see what God says He's done for us. Hallelujah. In order to be in faith, you have to have knowledge of what God has done in order to be in faith concerning what God has done. If you don't know what God has done, then you wouldn't be in faith. You'd be saying, maybe, might, I don't know. God is mysterious. He might show up. He might not. He could come by. We don't know what God will do. That's not faith. Faith knows what God has done. And faith said, it is done. Hallelujah. Faith believes the word of God. And faith speaks that word that it has believed. We're talking about the spirit of faith. We're talking about our faith, our spirit of faith. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17, uh, 13 says, 2 Corinthians 4, 13 says, We have the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. See, in order to believe, you have to know what is said, what God has said in order to believe it. If you don't have knowledge of what God has said, then you can't have faith in what God has said. But if you have knowledge of what God said he's done, then you can say it's done. And that's what we call the manifestation of it. Your belief in what God has done and your confession of that belief. Hallelujah. Shall cause what you have believed and said as it concerns what God has done for you. It will cause it to appear in your life. Isaiah 46.10 says, Hallelujah. Declaring the end from the beginning. God declared the end from the beginning. If you read Revelation, you'll see that the devil, you know, he walking about as a roaring lion. Right now on earth, seeking whom he may devour. The Bible says, uh, uh, the soul will be vigilant. Hallelujah. Because your adversary, the devil, walking about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist. God said resist him. Steadfast. That word steadfast means unchanging. Always Resist him unchanging in the faith. Just, just keep resisting him in faith. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, submit yourself unto God. Resist the devil, he'll flee. You resist him in faith, he's gone. But then if you read in Revelation, you'll see why the devil is, is defeated and God places him in the lake of fire and brimstone to be there for eternity. Hallelujah. The work is already done. God has written down in a book called the Bible, New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament, about what he's already done so that we can have faith in what he's done. Hallelujah. God is the God of the now. God is the God of the now. This word is a now word. Hallelujah. Sickness has already been defeated. It says in Isaiah 53, 5, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. But just Tidement of our peace was upon him, and with his strife, we are healed. God has already dealt with sickness. We are already healed. First Peter 2.24 says, Who was on to bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. God says it's already been done. God already took care of sickness. Hallelujah. God already defeated poverty. Jesus already defeated death. He said, raise the dead. Jesus already defeated death and hell. He has the keys of death and hell. Hallelujah. And given us all authority. Authority over death, hell, sickness, disease, poverty, and over every devil and demon on this planet. Praise be to God. God declared the end from the beginning. Isaiah 46 10 declared the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, the things that are not yet done, they've already been done in the spirit world, but they're not done yet. And they, they haven't appeared done in the physical world yet. Hallelujah. Like, like it says in Revelation, that the enemy is cast into the lake of fire. At the, you know, at the white throne judgment, the book, books will be open. And those whose names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life shall be uh, placed in the lake of fire and brimstone to be there for eternity, to, to suffer torment. God see that work has already finished. He's seen the work because he already know he's been there, he knows it's done. You know he's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and the first and the last. God is the 
God of the now. Hallelujah. He declared the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Said, my counsel shall stand. I will do all my pleasure. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 3 says, although the works were finished from the foundation of the work. God did already heal you. You waiting on God to heal you. And when God is, is, is waiting on you to use your faith and take hold of the healing that he's already provided for you. You already healed in Jesus' name. God already provides you with new eyes. Hallelujah. I'm talking about you. You, you got your sight restored because you got new eyes, new ears. And your flesh that's been burned or scarred and all that. You got new flesh upon your body right now in the name of Jesus. It's already done. You a dead person, you alive, you will heal in Jesus' name. Counsel, you cast out of my friend's body right now. Go, you go, and you won't be back. You heal in Jesus' name. You got a new heart right now. You got a new working lungs right now. You got new working kidneys right now. You're off of dialysis forever. You will heal in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The work's already finished. God already healed you. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 5 says, Wherefore, when he coming into the world, talking about Jesus, he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body, a physical body, hast thou prepared for me. God prepared a physical body for Jesus so he could come to this world, come here on earth and be slain on the cross and be raised from the dead. So, of course, he went in the depths of the earth and defeated the devil and, 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 and all devils and demons and he, uh, uh, snatched the keys of, of hell and death from the enemy. He, he led captive to captive. He went back to hell. Hallelujah. The work is done, friend. God is the God of now. God is the God of the now. Hallelujah is the message. The God of the now. It says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7, It said, then said I, lo, I come in the volume of a book. It is written of me. This is Jesus speaking, to do thy will, O God. He came to earth to do what God's will was. He knew the will of God because he was slain from the foundation of the world. So he came here to be slain. But it had already been done. Going to Hebrews, praise be to God. Hebrews chapter 10, praise God, verse 7. It said, then said I. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. This is the volume of the book right here. Hallelujah. It says, he said, uh, I, he said, then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. To do thy will, O God. He came and did the will of the Father. John chapter 19, verse 23 says, then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, see, but he was slain from the foundation of the world. Revelation chapter 13, verse 8. John chapter 10, verse 17 through 18 says, Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me. Jesus had the power to, to allow himself to die, and the power to cause himself to come back to life. Hallelujah. It, it says it here, therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. God is the God of the now. What are you waiting on? God is the God of the now. You delivered our trouble now in the name of Jesus, according to Psalm. Uh, 107 verse 20, Psalm 50, 15, Psalm uh, 91, 15. You already set free from trouble in Jesus' name. No matter what the trouble is, legal, financial, marriage, trouble, whatever, children, trouble, you delivered in Jesus' name. Right now, the work is done. John chapter 8, verse 23. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath. This is what Jesus said. I am from above. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. See, I'm of the world of the kingdom of God. I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. I'm of the invisible kingdom, because it's not invisible to me. I'm of the kingdom of God. I'm of the kingdom of heaven. I was sent here on a mission. I'm born from up, from on high. I'm born of the incorruptible seed, the word of God. 
I'm sitting here to do the Father's will. I come to tell you, you healed today in Jesus' name. Ain't no doubt about it. I come to tell you today, you got new legs, new feet right now in Jesus' name. That's right, you had lost your legs in an accident. You had lost your legs during the war, but you got new legs right now in Jesus' name. You got a new new arms, new fingers, whatever members you were missing. You got them back, all your body parts back right now in Jesus' name. You got healthy organs in your body. I'm talking to you. Every organ in your body is healthy. Every cell in your body is healthy and working perfectly in Jesus' name. You're healed now. You got new strength, new vigor, new vitality, new stamina in Jesus' name. Your youth has been renewed in Jesus' name. I'm talking about your youthful appearance. And your strength is made new now in Jesus' name. Ain't no doubt about it. You hear in Jesus' name. Is anything too hard for the Lord? The work is finished. God is the God of the now. Some people say, well, God might do it next month. God is the God of the now. You're already healed. You're already delivered out of trouble. You're already made whole. Money's in your house now. You got the job you want now, a good paying job. I give you tithes and offer to the Lord. Remember the Lord. He remembered you. He sent Jesus here. Hallelujah. I'm giving you the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So when you leave here, because you leave me, then you can go to heaven. And you can say what Jesus said. Jesus said in John 8, 23, And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath. Come out to earth here. I am from above heaven. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. John chapter 16, verse 28 says, I came from the Father. That's how I got here. Yeah, God brought me out of himself. I'm talking about my spirit person. Hallelujah. Of course, he made this physical body. He made every physical body. But he, uh, uh, I, he brought me out of himself. I'm born of God's spirit. And, and that spirit is on the inside. Jesus said, I came forth from the Father and am come into the world again. I leave the world and go to the Father. John chapter 17, verse 5. Then it'll be time I'm going, uh, hallelujah. I'm going to go back to the Father. I'm going to go be with him. Praise be to God. And even though he's in me, I'm going to go be with him in, in heaven. Hallelujah. What a glorious time. Great time. Celebration time. John chapter 17, verse 5 says, And now, O Father, Jesus is praying, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. You see, Jesus is God, always been God. Jesus created everything, visible and invisible. Said that in the book of Colossians. Jesus is God. See, that is the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. These three are one. These three are one. Hallelujah. John chapter 16, verse, I mean John chapter 17, verse 16. John chapter 17, verse 16 say. They are not of the world, talking about me and you, you Christian folk. They are not of the world, that's what Jesus said. Even as I am not of the world, even though we're in the world, we're not of the world. We got our own way of speaking, we speak faith. We got our own way of doing things, we do things righteously. We got our own way of doing things, we love everybody, we even love our enemies. We know faith working by love. We got all power, all authority right now. We can tell animals what to do and they obey. We can tell the weather how to be and it is. We can bless the atmosphere and this atmosphere is blessed and have beautiful weather during the spring, summer, fall, and winter. Because we tell the prince of power of the air what to do in Jesus' name and it's done because he already defeated it anyway. We tell devils to be cast out of people to go, be gone, and they gone in Jesus' name. We lay hands on, on diseased people and see them recover immediately in Jesus' name. We tell dead folk to get them going back to the house. They get up and go back to their house because they be alive. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We tell money what to do and money obeys that command in Jesus' name. We command angels because the one in us, God in us, he, uh, he speaks the word. You know, I get on my own self, do nothing. The Father in me, He's God. He doeth the work. He does my believing, my speaking, my seeing, my hearing, and my doing. I only do what I see Him do. He shows me everything He Himself does for me to do the same thing likewise. He even showed 
um, um, myself, show me myself doing certain things. And when he showed me doing those certain things, he didn't tell me doing that. Because he purchased this, this physical body off, so it's his. Bow with the blood of Jesus. When a person is operating in faith, he or she is speaking an act that is done. Therefore, in order to speak the thing that God has already done, one must search the word to ascertain the things that God has done. I'm going to make this statement over and over again until you finally get it. I'll play the DVD over and over again or listen to this uh, a recording over and over again. When a person is operating in faith, he or she is speaking an act that is done. Therefore, in order to speak the thing that God has already done, one must search the word to ascertain the things that God has done. When a person is operating in faith, he or she is speaking an action that is done. Therefore, in order to speak the thing that God has already done, one must search the word to determine the things that God has done. Isaiah 53, 5 says, When he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. You are healed now. You are healed now. God has already healed you. Not to wait on no healing is yours now. Healing was available to you before you got sick. Hallelujah. Healing was yours before God sent you here to the earth. I'm talking to you, Mr. Christian. First Peter 2.24 says, Who is own said, Jesus, bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Said, you already been healed. You're healed now, because you already been healed. God declared the end from the beginning. Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, you are healed now. You got a healthy brain now. Tumor be gone. The tumor is gone from your brain. You're healed. You're cancer free. You're free of all blood disease. Your pancreas is working perfectly. Hallelujah. Every cell in your body is godly health. Your stomach is healthy. Your digestive system is healthy. Arthritis cast away from you. Spirit of infirmity gone from you. You have new sight, vision. Your ears are open. You can hear. Your throat is healed. Your voice is restored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you're healed of all toxic drug use in Jesus' name. And you're healed of all Dangerous prescription drugs that you've used. You know, some of those prescription drugs, many of them have bad side effects. You hear from them in Jesus' name. You may hold today, now, in Jesus' name. God is the God of now. Whatever your condition is, you hear. Get up out the wheelchair. Walk around. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And you, you didn't have no legs. Get up out of the wheelchair with your new, oh, you know, you. You got new legs now, new feet. Hallelujah. Make that phone call now because you got your arms back in your fingers. New arms, new fingers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is the God of now, which means that God has already done the thing for you that you want him to do. Faith is aware of what God has done, and it declares that now work. God is the God of now, which means that God has already done the thing for you that you want him to do. Faith is aware of what God has done, and it declares, faith speaks that now work. God is God of now, which means that God has already done the thing that you want him to do. Faith, your faith is aware of what God has done, and your faith speaks that now work. Psalm 107, verse 20 says, He sent His Word. Jesus is the living Word of God and healed them. He's already healed us. We healed and delivered them from their destruction. We set free from all destruction. Okay, nothing destroys us. Hallelujah. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. That shall no evil befall us. He's given His angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. You protect us. Psalms 50, 15 says, And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee. God say, call him, he'll deliver you. 
you're already delivered today, right now in Jesus' name. That's right, all your bills paid, all your debts paid off, all your taxes that you owe paid off right now. You don't have to commit suicide. You should never think of committing suicide anyway, but your bills are paid off. Money's in your house now. Now do what's right. Serve the Lord. God has sent you here to do a work that he has already finished. God has sent you. I'm talking to you, sir. God has sent you here to do a work that he has already finished. I'm talking to you, man. I'm talking to you, little girl. God has sent you here to, to the earth to do a work that he has already finished. In order for you to complete the work that God has already performed by your person, you must inquire of God concerning his will for your life. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9 says, For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. God wants you rich. You may be rich today. It says in, in Psalms 1022, The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. And he had no sorrow with it. You got all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. God has raised you up to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Because you're in Christ Jesus now. You have all blessings already. The blessing that makes you rich. You're an heir of God. You're an heir with Christ Jesus. You've already received wealth and riches. Read Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. You got your inheritance now. You're a king. Royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Revelation 2 9 says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 and 10 says, Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. How God increase you? Honor him from that increase. Give generously to God. Give it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, run it over. Shall men given to your bosom? You give money, money given to you. You give food, food given to you. You give clothes, clothes given to you. You go about and help your neighbor. You know your neighbor need help, and then your neighbor ain't got no job. Go in and pay the bills for your neighbor. You know your neighbor's car not working. Pay. I mean, you know your neighbor's car not working. Then go over there and have his car a repair and pay for it. Don't loan him no money. Give it to him. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Luke chapter six, verse thirty-eight. Hallelujah. Honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barn be filled with plenty. You want plenty? Give. Why should you give? You're already rich. God has made you rich. Act like a rich person. Go about doing good. Go about helping people. Hallelujah. You just increase more and more. It says, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy bond be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Now I'm going to read Ephesians. Ephesians. I'm going to go to Ephesians. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read this verse and conclude here in Ephesians. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 28, Let him that stole steal no more. I've said, you used to steal, don't steal no more. Talk to, you know, Christian folk, his folk. But rather than him labor, go ahead and work, labor. Do what you know how to do. Do good labor, right labor. But let, rather let him labor, working, work with his hand, the thing which is good, that he may, the reason you work and labor, that he may give to him that need it, so you can give to your name. Because you're in the kingdom of God. You, you're not of this world. You from above. You're already rich. Rich. You're already in the rich kingdom of God. You're already wealth and rich. Go about and do what wealth and rich people do. Get uh, good, good and righteous wealthy people. Let me say that. Go about and do what good and righteous people do. Go about and distribute. Go about and help people. Help the poor. Buy things for the children. Buy clothes for the children. Go about and, and, and buy medicines for people. Check on the sick. Lay your hands on them for God to heal them because they're already healed. Visit the people in prison. Hallelujah. Oh, praise be to God. It says in, gonna, I said I was going to stop at Ephesians. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop there uh, in Ephesians. But you know, God richly gives us all things to enjoy. I love you. God is 
the God of now. The message is the God of now. What are you waiting on? You ain't waiting no more because you just see manifestation in your life and your house. You need to get this message to someone else. You need to carry this message to someone else so they can have instant harvest in their life. The harvest is now. You ain't got to wait on no harvest. The harvest is now. Jesus has finished the work. It is finished. Love you. Talk to you next time.